Biologists have discovered a new life form, electric bacteria that live on pure energy. Unlike any other life on Earth they use energy in its purest form, they eat and breathe electrons. They harvest these electrons from rocks and metals. While eating electricity may seem strange, the flow of current is central to all life. Organisms require electrons to make and store energy. Humans and other organisms get electrons from food and expel them with our breath. The discovery of these electricity-eating bacteria shows that some basic forms of life can do away with middlemen and handle energy in its purest form, electrons harvested from the surface of minerals. Kenneth Nielsen of the University of Southern California, Los Angeles says it is truly foreign, you know, in a sense, alien. Nielsen and his team are one of several that are now growing these bacteria directly on electrodes, keeping them alive with electricity and nothing else. No sugars or any other nutrients at all. To grow the bacteria, the team collects sediment from the seabed, brings it back to the lab, and inserts electrodes into it. Previously there were two such organisms that scientists were familiar with. Shu Wainella and Joe Bacter. Now many more are being discovered. Part of a hidden biosphere these electricity-eating organisms are only beginning to be understood by scientists. They are found in deep-sea vents, ocean sediments a few inches below the deep sea floor, and in mineral-rich veins deep beneath the planet's surface. Different varieties have been found that thrive under different electrical conditions, suggesting they employ different strategies for eating electrons. A few years ago, biologists discovered that some produce hair-like filaments that act as wires, ferrying electrons back and forth between the cells and their wider environment. They dubbed them microbial nanowires. Lars Peter Nielsen and his colleagues at Aarhus University in Denmark have found that tens of thousands of electric bacteria can join together to form daisy chains that carry electrons over several centimeters, a huge distance for a bacterium only three or four micrometers long. It means that bacteria living in seabed mud where no oxygen penetrates, can access oxygen dissolved in the seawater simply by holding hands with their friends. Such bacteria are showing up everywhere we look, says Nielsen. One way to find out if you're in the presence of these electron munches is to put clumps of dirt in a shallow dish full of water, and gently swirl it. The dirt should fall apart. If it doesn't, it's likely that cables made of bacteria are holding it together. Early work shows that such cables conduct electricity about as well as the wires that connect your toaster to the mains that could open up interesting research avenues involving flexible, lab-grown biocables. Electric bacteria could have other practical applications as well, such as creating bio-machines that do useful things like clean up sewage or contaminated groundwater while drawing their own power from their surroundings. Nielsen calls them self-powered useful devices, or spuds. NASA is also interested in things that live deep underground because such organisms often survive on very little energy and could suggest modes of life in other parts of the solar system. As always thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe.